Hello, hello everyone. Um, I'm just going to show you now how to do this this little flower um, that I've been making. Uh, they're they're quite simple really to do. You've got to have um, have to have, but you'll need to make these um, a little flower cup, uh, a bead like a nice bead of contrasting colour or the same colour or whatever you like I think we might use that one we need a little tiny bead for the top and we need some wire now the wire needs to be well in this case it needs to be a 28 gauge again for this one um, I've got about a piece about six inches you'll need pliers and whatever other uh, beads you'd like to use now um, I'm going to get a, a contrasting one for the top that will go on first. So we need to have the yellow bead on there, the little, little glass one. Then I'm going to put this pearly pink one on there, like so. Put this into there, like that, into the... I think it makes the flower a lot bigger and be nice if I could find the hole. There we go. And that, that worked out pretty pretty good. It's not bad. It's not bad. Now I've got these um, bugle beads. They're green. Would they be good for stems? Uh, you, you can wrap always if you can't get these you can always use um, any colour or you can just use the little beads and run them up along the the wire, like little green ones um, that you can buy. Like well, they're the same as this little yellow one on the end there. They're, the, they're little seed beads. And you run those up along there to to you've got enough to, to the length that you need it to be. Okay, and then you get your crimp, which will told you last time we we're going to use one of those they're the things that they use in, in beading of course and for jewellery and things and I'll put that up in there on there and then I'll just squeeze that down tightly and oh, now I've gone and broke my end off my bead now I'm going to have to take that apart but to do that I'll just show you that you can <coughs> so that squeeze on there to get it off you just press it back the other way just get it those two sides there like that and press it and it should open I'm still going to break that other bead come on it should come back the other way for us we not mustn't be in the right place here Sonia get it in the right place let me see hmm goodness me might have to just slide him off I think there we go that would have been a lot easier Sonia I just didn't know whether he would whether it was tight enough or not now let me see I've got some more of these somewhere. Uh, just grab one. Also broke him, which you can see that that's quite easy, especially with these these bugle beads. They, they do they do break easy too. I, I noticed. Anyway, we'll put three on a four there, four or five. I think we'll do five. Make it a nice long stem. And you'll be able to put it into a vase. Which I that idea in a minute anyway so now we're going to put without t squashing the bead this time breaking it we're going to crimp that under there like so okay so there you are now you've got your little flowers and I think you can do it in all different sorts of colors um, and they I think they turn out quite well I put a long pearly one in that and this one there's little different beads boosters in for the insides um, I used one of the bead caps that I had and I just spread it apart. Um, the bead cap is, uh, let me see, what have I got to one of them on? There we go. Here's your bead cap that you buy. You can get those or you can get these ones here. All different sorts of shapes and sizes actually. And you just turn them back that way a bit carefully with your pliers just open it up and then you can thread it on 
to the bottom underneath there it looks like you might have a little bit of a leaf see like so um, this one here I did with the pink long bead you just have to put your little bead on the end like I did and fold it over and then put them all back through it and that one I've, I've done that sort of effect with that and I've just got different ones on, on these okay now um, I'll just show you what I come up with as far as for putting it into a vase um, and it's getting caught because I'm using felt because the things don't run away I had these beads I got these beads when I did I unpulled some jewellery which I do a lot I, I, I re um, use it a lot of things because I get the little beads and didn't realise or didn't know what I was going to do with these I thought oh gee what am I going to put them in and then this idea I said look at that that makes a really good vase doesn't it so I also bought some beads some I thought they were little discs that you put a photo in but they're not they're things for beads no, for beads for your earring okay and I thought well that's neat isn't it so I thought well it's neat but what am I going to do with it I painted it up a bit of paint on got a piece of lace stuck it onto there got me bead put my bead on there like that quite before and thought now that's cool so then I get my flowers and I threaded them through um, I'm only going to be able to put the ones through that have got I don't think I'll get any of those through with the green on them because the hole's not big enough with what I mean by green I mean these here because that's fairly thick might get it in there a little way but it's too thick so we'll just do the ones that I've just got the single pieces of wire on that are not covered like that and just keep putting as many in as will fit like so different colours the red one push them in through there it holds a fair few holds a fair few pieces of wire because if your wire is only thin it takes a few um, flowers and we'll put that in there now while I was coming up with this idea of putting them through the bead I thought well, well you could do a smaller one too so what I'm going to do is make smaller flowers yet still I've got um, some bits here now if you pull that really tight as you can and then you're going to have to cut that off and you've got your imagine your laces there like this one and you'll cut that off and you'll push that on there like that you'll that will also provide it with a good stand so it'll stand up for you because this one look at that see that works really well now I thought to, or you could also use just like um, I think this will go in here no it won't I was thinking I could use a, another bead put these in but you'd have to get something with a big hole in it you need something that's got a really big hole if you want to push those down in there these sort of things I made because I thought this is a good for a brooch you could put a brooch back on onto that so, um, put a little, um, you, could, you buy the brooch backs I don't know if I've got one just here somewhere I could just see I don't think I have anyway you could buy the brooch backs and you can put them on the back of these and that way you've got or you could build it into a bit bigger bunch like a nice spray of flowers and put them in your on your hair pieces or anywhere I think they look really pretty really beautiful actually I'm I'm quite um, taken with them myself and I like sparkly things <laughs> And and I think that's that's um that's a really nice idea. Anyway, I'll I'll come back shortly and I'll show you a couple other things. All right, I'll talk to you later. Bye bye.